Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Demystifying Guitar Series with me, Madenge. It's a pleasure to be here and to do this again. In this video, we are going to do a summary of the basic concepts that I've taught you earlier. And we're also going to do some close-ups of the fretting hand where we play the chords for a better understanding. To start with, we are going to see the best position of holding the guitar. We use a guitar strap to hold the guitar in position while standing. But if you are seated, like I am right now, we place this groove down here, the guitar, on our thigh. And then the body of the guitar is held by the chest. And then your right hand lies on top of the body like that to make it possible for you to play the strings comfortably. It is good to be comfortable while playing the guitar uh, that, so that you won't concentrate on holding the guitar, but you'll concentrate on how to play the guitar. Proper holding techniques make you feel comfortable while playing, and that is what we want. On to the next, we are going to look at how to tune the guitar. There is a standard tuning of the guitar where from down here, the strings are E, an A, a D, G, B, and E. There are several methods that we use to tune uh, the strings of the guitar. One of them is using a digital tuner. For example, I have mine here. I hope you can see it. So when I play a string, you can see the red and green lights here that indicate whether my string is in tune or not. <clears throat> Another one, we have applications on the phone such as Guitar Tuner, Fender, etc, etc. I'll put a screenshot of the applications that I used. Another method is where you have another another instrument like the piano and you use your ear to tune the strings. So after tuning our guitar, let's get to playing. Previously, I taught you open chords. Another name for open chords is cowboy chords. These chords are simple to play and they are they are called open because one or more strings are not fingered. They vibrate freely. We are going to have a close-up of each and every chord that I taught you earlier, from the A, C, D, E, F, G, an E minor, a B minor, and a D, and a D minor chord. Here we go, and we start with an A. Our first finger, string number three, fret number two, second finger, string number four, fret number two, third finger, string number two, fret number two. That's the sound of an A. We go to a C, first finger, string number two, fret number one, second finger, string number four, fret number two, third finger, string number five, fret number three. You strum from the fifth string, and that's your C chord. Uh, we go to a D chord. Your first finger, string number three fret number two second finger string number one fret number two and our second finger uh that finger string number two fret number three and you strum from string number four that's your d chord you go to an e first finger string number three fret number one second finger String number five, fret number two. Third finger, string number four, fret number two. And you strum from the sixth string to the first string. That's your E chord. We go to an F. An F, your first finger, holds string number one and string number two, fret number one. Our second finger, 
uh, string number three, fret number two, and our third finger, string number four, fret number three. That's your F, open chord. We go to a G, your first finger, string number five, fret number two, your second finger, string number six, fret number three, and your first finger, uh, your third finger, sorry, fret number three, string number one. There's another fashion of holding the G where your third finger holds string number two of the, of the third fret and your pinky holds the first string of the same fret. We go to an A minor. Your A minor, your first finger, string number two, fret number three. Your second finger, string number four, fret number two. And your third finger, string number three, fret number two. And that's an A minor chord. We go to a B minor. A B minor is not an open chord, it's a bar chord. And your first finger will bar the second fret. And using your using your this edge, because this edge is has a flat surface, even flat surface compared to the front of the finger. So your side barring the second fret and then you hold the shape of an a minor where you are your second finger holds string number two of the third fret your third finger holds string number four of the fourth fret and your fourth finger hold, holds the third string of the fourth fret and all together we have a B minor. You strum from the fifth string downwards. That's our B minor chord. And last but not least, we have a D minor chord. Uh, we where our first finger holds on to string number one, fret number one. Second finger, string number three, fret number two. And our third finger, string number two, fret number three. And then you strum from string number four. That's our D minor. With those chords, guitar learners, you have the ability to play all songs in the world. So what I'm asking from you is, practice understand those shapes so that when the lessons get a bit intense you'll have the basics with you right because a journey of a thousand miles start with one step and this is the first step of you understanding these basics thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one Bye-bye.